12 and a half years as a professional, Najib Daho has fought for titles at world, European, British and Commonwealth level. Tonight he aims to keep hold of his latest possession, the Commonwealth Lightweight Championship. Welcome to Fight Night from the Oldham Sports Centre and Najib Daho's first defence of the Commonwealth Lightweight Championship he won in May. It's the high point of a career that began as a nine-year-old street fighter in Morocco and has certainly seen its ups and downs. It must seem like eternity now to Carl Dole. This is the longest three minutes he's ever been in. Oh, and it, it looks as though he's going to get counted out. Even the bell came to the rescue. So it is now too late for a knockout because the bell would interrupt the count. Maybe a slight delay in waiting for the verdict anyway while they collect the papers and what a great fight and they're entitled to hug each other at the finish like that well there it is uh, a clear-cut verdict there have you got it now jim we've been so interested in seeing such a good battle a little cl clash of heads here yeah, legend that who's cutting the forehead cut right up on the forehead there he's complaining and, uh, about the the clash of heads he wants, he wants the corner man to wipe it and have a look at it they won't call the doctor here this is not a championship fight and that was they ran into each other there it wasn't a deliberate fight I'm sure and in the start of the ninth round he's had to stop it to Mickey Van and he, would, he must have had good reason to do so oh there it is again the delayed action and he threw a punch at that. Well, he was touching the end. Davidson's up on the court ring there saying he's hit by a man on the deck. <laughs> well, the manager took a flyer there. He bolted, didn't he, Jim? Yes. Now it's all over. Cartwheel from Najib Daho. The defence of the Commonwealth title is Manchester-based Daho's 57th fight. He's won 33 of them, 11 inside the distance. The challenger is the Canadian lightweight champion John Calben from Toronto. He's four years younger than Daho and has won 19 of his 28 fights, eight of them on stoppages. Well, together with two other fight night regulars, Tony Akubia, the new Commonwealth light welterweight champion, and Pat Barrett, the British champion at the same weight, Daho has revived the Manchester boxing scene. Now, can he keep it on the boil? Let's find out as we join our commentary team of Jim Watt and Hugh Johns. And on the way, let's hear from our MC, Vince Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing at three minutes each round for the lightweight championship of the British Commonwealth. Presenting and introducing in the blue corner, the challenger from Canada, Johnny Calvin. And in the red corner, the champion from Manchester, Najib Daho. At the weigh-in at 1 o'clock this afternoon, both boxers scaled 9 stone, 9 pound exactly. Your officials, employed by the British Boxing Border Control, are as follows. Your chief steward in charge, Mr. Dennis Lockton. Your referee for this contest will Mr. Billy Rafferty from Stewart in Scotland. Your timekeeper, Mr. Colin Roberts from Yorkshire. And your medical officers, Drs. Rosenberg and Sim. This is the main event of the evening. Thank you. So now it's all down to Najib Daho. Can he keep alive the title here that he won so convincingly against Pat Doherty? It's going to be a rough, tough, bruising sort of a battle. John Calvin is a real slugger. Najib Daho knows he could be in for a war. But that's no new thing for him. He was born 30 years ago during a war at that time in Morocco this astonishing little man Najib Daho 12 years and 5 months of boxing the black shorts distinguishing Najib Daho and from Canada in blue Johnny Calvin. Calvin.
Robin boxing out of that curious low crouch that he adopts. Daho, who has been erratic during his career, looking now to put together a, a really convincing performance in this, his defense of the Commonwealth title. Big crowd here in the Oldham Sports Center, but quiet at the moment. Anticipating the fireworks yet to come. Daho being first. Daho doesn't have his uh, usual sharpness in the first round here. Normally, straight from the first belly, he puts punches together, uh, exerts pressure. But uh, he's going to have a look at Calvin. He's uh, looking for the target, but he hasn't really let the punches go yet. Uh, kind of lazy first round by Daho's own standards. Calvin, of course, something of an unknown quantity to manager Jack Trickett and his his team in Daho's corner. They'll be sizing up uh, Calvin in this first three minutes. Calvin doesn't look uh, particularly difficult to hit. So I'm surprised uh, Daho has been uh, less than accurate in the first round here. Daho getting encouragement in his corner as they point out to him what's what he's got to do now. He's had a an incredible career as uh, Najib Daho. 56 fights record stretching back over 12 years, but only three in the past two years. Just one win in that time when he took the Commonwealth title of Pat Doherty. Johnny Calvin getting instructions there from Peter Wiley who has looked after him his whole career as a pro. Calvin slow off his stool and uh, the uh, there was no buzzer. Which caused Calvin to be Taken a little bit by surprise. Oh, yes, that's more like it from uh, Najib. That was a bit better from Daho. Now, Calvin doesn't, as I say, look difficult to hit, but uh, Daho just didn't seem to have much life about him in the first round. Uh, maybe he'll spark into life here in the second. Billy Rafferty backs them away and Najee is going with that big left long swinging left hand the one that uh, destroyed Pat Cowdell and he walked into one himself then So it's unbelievable uh, Daho has been caught with these punches are so crude and delivered so slowly from Calvin. Calvin just looks like a, a strong little fighter, strong, awkward, persistent little fighter. But uh, his punches seem slow, just arm punches. You hit their catch in Daho. Calvin 
Trying to mess Daho up as much as he can. Daho's boxing here as though he's just done eight hard rounds. You know, this doesn't look like uh, the first couple of rounds of a Najib Daho performance. I don't know what he's got in his mind here. Daho's cut, I think, over yes. the left side. Yes, left eye. That's uh, almost inevitable with the way the heads are down there. And he shook his head, did Daho, as he went back to his corner. And clearly they've got some work to do there. Dave Farrell is in the ring with the uh, cut swab. These are anxious moments then for Daho's supporters. Calvin is being instructed to go in and open that eye up again. Well, Daho's cut to uh, Hugh, and the only man who has to blame for that is himself. It's been a terrible performance so far. Maybe this will spur him into life. I mean, the real Najib Daho would really enjoy himself against this man, because this man doesn't do anything particularly well, yet Daho can't seem to get any rhythm into his work. To a great extent, I think that's been the curse of uh, Daho's career, the erraticness of it. The constant search for a regular consistency of performance. Someday go day, win one, lose one, has been the story of some 12 years of boxing. I'm amazed, I mean, Daho has the look of someone who's just gone, as I said, seven or eight hard rounds. You know, he looks jaded. He doesn't really, really seem to be interested in the job. He's trying big single pot shots instead of trying to find a bit of rhythm in his boxing. Uh, this is looking uh, like one of uh, Daho's bad nights. Well, Calvin using his forearm and almost anything, that may spark things into a bit of a war. Well, that's not unusual from Calvin. He had a point deducted in his uh, last fight against Joey Gamash for using the elbow. <laughs> Crowd urging Najib Daho now to, to work. Just allowing himself to be roughed up by this Canadian. I think referee Billy Rapley is going to have a hard time sorting these two out. Well, I've seen Daho in quite a few rough fights, but he's always had a little bit of rhythm, a little bit of technique, but he hasn't shown either of those two things tonight. He just doesn't seem to have his act together. He's making so many mistakes. He's punching, he, his timing is way off, but he's not showing the usual technique. I don't know what's wrong with him tonight. Well, he must have been really psyched up for this one. bit of grease now on that uh, cut left eye of uh, Daho but they've done a very very good job on it doesn't seem to be bothering him and he got the left hook in then well a little bit of improvement from Daho here he's using the jab a little bit more now he's looking for the target instead of putting his head down and swinging at it so maybe he realizes himself uh, it's time to put some thought into his work. Next 
as he wants to find the left hand that he used to uh, bang out Pat Cowdell when he won the British Super Feather title. Well, it wasn't much about that. Certainly a rough, tough customer, this Canadian. Good left hand. And Daho's leg went. And he's shaken off the effects of it. But that was a moment of peril for Najib Daho. And he got caught by lefts and rights then. Daho's getting caught with these crude punches. He's, uh, his tactics all wrong, he needs to tighten up a little bit, start using the jab, using some cultured boxing. All the way through, he's been boxing, his Calvin's a type of fight, and it's never worked for him. Four years difference in age. Daho 30, Calvin 26. Uh, John Calvin will feel reasonably satisfied with himself at the end of that round. Certainly his corner man, John Wiley, Peter Wiley, is uh, looking fairly unconcerned. See, Daho's making so many mistakes. His defences are so loose. That's just where the, the, the feet got a little bit tied up. Shortly after this, there was a, a little right-hand punch. Bang, caught Daho a little bit. See, again, the, the feet caught a little bit square, but it was definitely... Staggered by that punch. Once again, the, the tangle, the wrestling. gets a couple of good shots in and then goes then goes wild well at least Daho looks a little bit fired up at the beginning of this round hopefully hopefully this is the, the shape of things to come he looks a little bit fired up he looks uh, at long last as though he really wants to go in with the job Definitely got Calvin. This is more like the action we expect from Daho. Hopefully he'll keep the pressure up here and pick his punches now. And still plenty of bounce in Calvin's legs. Sturdy legs they are too. Two inches taller than uh, Daho, but the way he fights, he's almost three inches shorter.
now, as you'd expect here in uh, the Oldham Sports Centre. Plenty of support for Najib Daho. Well, uh, Daho had a little bit of sharpness in his early work in this round, but unfortunately, he, he's back into the, the, the wild swinging again. Both boxers at times finding it difficult to keep their feet in the, uh, in the ring. Well, it's a, a, break, a great start to that round for Daho, but a pretty messy sort of ending. <laughs> retain his Commonwealth title in convincing form. Oh. <laughs> Calvin signaled that one. As though he got a semaphore flag in his right hand and then didn't uh, make contact. with the cuff shots as it were this is a pretty difficult one for the referee to score because of so many punches they delivered off target or with inside of the glove cuffing slapping punches it's not an easy one to score I have uh, Daho slightly in front, although it's not one of his better performances. I think his punches have been that little bit better. Yeah, Calvin's pawing and shoving with punches there. Oh, that was a beauty. But uh, this tough Canadian, his legs did not flutter at all and was still strong and he got caught with that one though. Now that was a very good punch, and he did stagger on that. Now these are good punches from Daho now, but uh, usually a hallmark of Daho's performance uh, is the way he puts punches together. But uh, all these good punches have just been single shots tonight. He hasn't really found his rhythm. But uh, a few more of those shots, good clean shots to the chin, uh, maybe get him into control. a lot of his wildness is beginning to show that he's angry with himself that he can't uh, he can't put on the show that he had hoped to produce some of these body bangs must be uh, certainly hurting Daho a little Daho goes back to his corner and I think he's got a bit of a lump underneath the left eye now which uh, could easily be due to the to a clash of heads or something like that because there have been so much close head work in this fight Daho's done some good work with single punch that was the good right hand but yet again he doesn't have the rhythm tonight to, to follow up when he lands at a good single shot <laughs> Calvin late out of his corner again. Just under 12 minutes of boxing schedule. Four more rounds. To decide whether Daho hangs on to the Commonwealth lightweight title or whether it travels off to Canada. Along with John Calvin. Oh, 
certainly seems to be a cut that Calvin has picked up. Whether it's the left eye or the left cheek, it's difficult to see. That's beginning to look a bit messy for Calvin. And Daho banging away at that uh, cut. Cut seems to be in the corner of the eye. Corner of Calvin's left eye. In saying that, they've done a marvellous job on the cut that uh, Daho picked up so early in this fight. down towards the bell at the end of nine and uh, Calvin's corner preparing to do some uh, eye repair work see yet again Dajos tried to blast Calvin out with one single shot instead of trying to find a little bit of rhythm it's probably too late in the contest now he's beginning to feel the pace a bit tired but uh, he needs some rhythm Gary Newborn ringside with Pat Barrett, the uh, British light welterweight champion. I wonder what they feel about this fight. Pat, Najib seems to be fighting really badly tonight. Oh, it does. I mean, it, it'd win this fight more clearly if you just to stand up a little bit and do a bit more boxing because, um, you know, he's catching very easy with the jab. But at, at the moment, at the present time, Najib seems to be making very hard work of this fight. Head on points, though, I think. Oh, yeah, well ahead on points. He's feeling the clean of punches. I mean, the Canadians here are very tough lad, and he is actually here to win the fight, but... Um, very strong and like I said Najib's really making a meal in this fight. Last round 